My name is Jeffrey Hernandez. I am the branch manager for IM Bank in Wallingford, Connecticut. My career in banking started in 2008. I am representing IM Bank in the involvement with SCAL and WPAA TV. I am a member of the Quinnipiac Chamber of Commerce, Lions Club of Wallingford, and the Hubcap of Wallingford. Hi. My name is Monica Vargas, Assistant Director of the Spanish Community of Wallingford, also known as SCAL. SCAL's mission is to assist the Latino community in Wallingford to succeed in the U.S. society, while also helping them to share their rich culture with the growth community. I'm very fortunate. I'm the first generation um, in this country from Colombia. My grandfather and my grandmother were both born in Colombia. They came to the United States uh, because my grandfather filed employment in Florida, Miami. Um, and since then, we've had, you know, our uh, family expand with my aunts and uncles who came from Columbia too. Once they were established here in the United States, my grandpa established himself. Um, and then from there, we moved on. We stayed mostly in the Northeast. <laughs> um, I was born and raised in Jackson Heights, uh, New York, which is prominent for Colombians uh, in that area. Um, even my grandma had a record shop, Discoteca Colombiana, uh, which uh, it was kind of funny because I always was working there as slash the manager. Uh, so any time a customer had a complaint, they'll come to me. But obviously my Spanish wasn't so well. Um, so it was kind of funny when they're trying to talk to me and I didn't speak very well in Spanish. Um, it did help me learn uh, because a lot of times uh, with my grandma, things like television, like these programming, um, I would watch. Um, some shows like Savo Gigante, mm -hmm. which it was it was very fun for me, exciting, uh, which got my excitement to try to learn the language and uh, interact with what was going on the TV, ask questions to my grandma, what are they saying, what are they doing? Um, so the TV did help me uh, understand Spanish better than and speak it, uh, but it was very helpful for me uh, throughout my life. And uh, I'm very fortunate, I have a total of seven brothers and sisters here. Uh, now we're the first generations and we keep on uh, growing and growing my family here in the United States. Okay. Well, my experience is, is very different. I am, um, I am Colombian. I was born in Bogota. Uh, that is a coincidence. Yes. <laughs> right? Yeah. And, um, and I came to this country just four years ago. So when I came at first, it was, it was very challenging, the language, among many other things. But um, so I tried to focus in, in uh, listening the most that I could on TV and trying to repeat, to, you know, imitate how others were speaking. And, um, and uh, I found very challenging because by watching just regular TV, TV shows, uh, there, there are so many words that I didn't know. They use so much slang that I, sometimes it was frustrating. I could not follow what they were saying on TV. Well, um, then I, I had the opportunity to watch more programs with, with, a, with a more clear and neat English. And programs like this, that is presented by, uh, the, by the local channel and with the, with the DW, they help a lot to improve really uh, skills and enhance the language. And I think that you should watch them in Spanish as well because it's so clear, so neat. The content is so interesting that they just, I mean, you keep updated in current issues. They have so much analysis in the programs. And there's so many uh, innovation in science and health that you can keep up with, with everything while learning the language. So I think it's a perfect mix. Yeah. Since 2013, I am bank in Wallingford taking the time to be part of the community as much as possible. The Spanish community of Wallingford, we took the time to do a bank literacy involvement for the youth to teach them about how banking works, how interest rates work, and how about credit. It's a great partnership with the Spanish community of Wallingford that I got a chance to see the kids in the community, got a chance to see your facilities, which was great overall, to have the abilities to have children to have interact things with music, art, literature, so it was a great experience for me. Because uh, our goal in IM Bank is to be part of the community and be involved as much as possible so we can see that people, we are truly a community bank, that our sole goal is to improve the life of the community and to assist in any financial way possible.
That is great. And at the scale, we believe that uh, supporting the immigrant community, it brings a lot to the broader one in, in Waterford. And uh, especially since they have so many challenges, and one of the biggest is the language. I believe that programs like Two Languages really help the community and those learning English as a second language to improve their ability to speak a better English and also to, uh, to understand better um, these excellent programs with excellent content and with a very clear and neat English that is for sure a very good source uh, for them because they can either spend hundreds in ESL classes or just turn on the TV and have this great content for free. In two languages, is global news content shared with a local vision to help English and Spanish language learners improve their language proficiency while being informed about science, art, health, and more, with stories about the human experiences from around the world. Deutsche Bell, known as DW, produces the three global news programs distributed locally in two languages. Global 3000, Focus on Europe, and Tomorrow Today. Each program showcases different information. Global 3000 focuses on globalization. Focus on Europe produces people-centered stories from Europe. And Tomorrow Today is about emerging science and health news. So thank you, Jeffrey, for taking the time to talk with me today. And thanks to Ion Bank for underwriting these programs locally. Its content is going to help greatly to our community. Ion Bank is proud to be a sponsor of this program, and we look forward to supporting in the future. Excellent. Thank you very much.